Hey, what's up, Bigger Nation? Welcome back to another migration report. Um, just a little update. Had COVID last week, so uh, didn't get to hunt, but uh, doing quite a bit of scouting. It's been kind of an awkward time for him. Um, really kind of back and forth on myself, and I'll kind of talk about it. But uh, before we get started here, make sure to hit subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future migration reports, how-to videos, uh, gear reviews, and uh, hunting videos. We're really into kind of the thick of things, and uh, you don't want to miss out. So let's jump on in, uh, talk about migration. We just had a, uh, a cold streak come through, a lot of a lot of ice uh, out west got a lot of snow, but most of the eastern part of the state got a lot of ice on stuff. Uh, didn't really freeze things too bad because it was we'd still been pretty warm, but uh, it's kind of going to drop into the 30s this wet next week. But uh, So I'm going to kind of talk about why I'm kind of in between myself. Now I hunt from central to eastern Nebraska. Uh, this is kind of that awkward time frame when we finally start to kind of see freezes happening. Uh, birds kind of hopefully start to get a little more uh, into more of a density pattern, but it just depends on how the weather is going to continue um, and how warm it's going to be in the day. There's a lot of factors to play in. But uh, migration wise, uh, the cold front really pushed in quite a few birds. Now, if they stay, we'll see. <laughs> We've been kind of the skip skip state so far. They've been jumping farm ponds and just kind of trickling down into Kansas. I'm hoping that we do get some birds to stick around for the next week. Uh, lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. Uh, kind of your pinnacle where cold in the morning, so they'll actually move and actually go hit fields or move around. Um, then 50s, it's still warm enough to where they stick around because there's uh, food open and the water uh, doesn't get too froze over. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in between myself is because this is the awkward transition between marsh hunting and doing like farm ponds and field hunts. Um, the reason I say that is because we the marshes have been pretty slow this year. Um, I know that uh, we struggled early on because a lot of birds moved out because there was a quick cold streak with the teal and big ducks have just kind of slowly trickled in. So I'm hoping this kind of changes that, that we get a bigger density of birds. Um, had uh, got a call from Jordan from uh, The Good Life Outdoorsman. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. He did really well on a, a reservoir today, um, a little bit farther north of us. So I'm, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping some birds moved in. I haven't seen them on farm ponds, but like I said, there hasn't been a density of birds that come through that you do real well. Most hunts that I've seen, guys will kill a few birds here and there, but uh, they haven't really, you know, had great hunts. Like I said on my last migration report, I haven't really, I've had a lot of good hunts. I haven't had necessarily bad hunts, but haven't had that real crazy hunt. Uh, sound like Jordan did. Uh, so, hoping that I get, get into one of those hunts this weekend. Um, planning on going out and doing some more scouting, but, uh, I would bear to say that you're going to do pretty well this weekend with the birds moving in, uh, places to look, make sure that, you know, like a pond and a marsh is open. Um, I am kind of worried that tomorrow night is supposed to be 19, I think. That could possibly freeze them, but I'm hoping that by the weekend you get some warmer temperatures and they'll kind of unfreeze and unthaw to where you can hunt them. Look at farm ponds and start to check your fields because they are going to start hitting them with this colder weather in the morning. Um, and I'm hoping to see some, some honkers move in. So that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Just, uh, keep an out an eye out, uh, because there are a lot of possibilities and just like always there's density birds, uh, if you can find them, but you know, it's about giving them, uh, giving them the time of the day and making sure that you, uh, can check them out and scout. So, you're probably going to see some gadwalls, some mallards, uh, maybe a little bit of green wing teal this week. Um, and hopefully we get some widgeon because I haven't seen any hardly at all this year. Um, and I'm really hoping to get into <laughs> getting some spoonies, love spoonies. So uh, just keep an eye out, hoping to see some more geese. It seemed like we got a big influx that came in and then they just kind of kept going. Saw quite a few on a farm pond when we hunted a couple weeks ago. So 
hoping to get some that actually migrate in and stay here um and yeah we'll hopefully uh get after them this weekend i'm really looking forward to it so all right guys appreciate you watching uh if you like my gear check out bigrunners.com uh you don't want to miss out on that uh make sure to hit subscribe for future content hunting videos how to's gear reviews um and migration reports coming up and uh looking forward to the next couple weeks are gonna be really exciting next week i'm gonna be going out to uh or next weekend uh not this coming but the next weekend i'm going to south dakota to pheasant hunt the week after that i'm gonna go to western nebraska and do some hunting so you don't want to miss out so all right guys appreciate you watching have a good day and uh get out there and get hunting